So, um, I had a request the other day. What are three things that sellers really shoot themselves in the foot with when trying to sell their house? The number one thing that I could think of, the number one thing is... Okay, picked up some cleaning supplies, some mishmashes, and some uh, juices for the house. Now I'm heading home real quick, gonna drop those off, make sure everybody's all right, and then I'll go take care of the puppies. Um, Work-wise today, <clears throat> busy day, still negotiating a house that the buyers and sellers are um, not seen eye to eye on and that agent sent me an addendum that I've got to get over to the seller this evening when I get done with my previous appointments and working on cleared a cloud on title today uh, gave the title company the order nunk prunk tunt and the seller's final decree so cleared that out constantly putting stuff in dot loop that I've got to put in had to release a contract today the inspections didn't go as the investor was planning and the seller specifically wanted to sell it as is so we had to put a release together on that one um, it's just been non-stop all day long I believe I got an info from one of my sellers on a roof repair I've got so many roofs being repaired right now because of all the storms so I've got to get that information over to the buyer's agent. Just in never ending paperwork. Never ending paperwork. And I use a transaction coordinator to help me. It's just I'm one of the agents where I feel like I've got to be in the paperwork and, and good of it. So um, I had a request the other day. What are three things that sellers really shoot themselves in the foot with? when trying to sell their house the number one thing that I could think of the number one thing is pricing when they overprice the house when you overprice your house then it'll sit there longer it'll sit there 30 60 90 days it'll sit there way too long and not ever get a contract or ever sell so you're constantly having to drop the price to get it at market but by the time you get it at market, you're already 60, 90 days on market. And by that time, people think there's something wrong with the house. Even though there nothing is, you just overpriced it. So that's the number one thing is overpricing. is the number one thing that sellers do to shoot, the, shoot themselves in the foot when selling their house. The number two thing that I can think of is not having good curb appeal. Not having a mowed and edge yard not having you know the siding washed off not not having good curb appeal I mean there's there's no other way to put it you know what I mean you know if you need to put new mulch in your flower beds put new mulch in the flower beds if you need to weed the flower beds weed the flower beds curb appeal is key as the first impression goes and then this the third thing that I think of that people do when selling their house is shoot themselves in the foot is not have the property professionally cleaned the property needs to be clean 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 when you're selling it because if it's not then the buyers think there's underlying issues because if a seller doesn't have the time to keep the property clean do they have the time to keep the maintenance up to date you know um, number one is pricing number two is curb appeal and number three is cleanliness cleanliness so those are the top three things that sellers do to shoot themselves in the foot when selling the house Josh better hopes regard real estate you've got a house to sell you've got some land to sell give me a holler I'd be happy to help you out I've got there's probably 12 different agents that I work with in the whole state um, we can handle pretty much anything you've got that you need to sell whether your go-to listing agents. 405-305-7965. Josh Barnett, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate, Paramount. Give me a call. I'd love to
to earn your business. You guys, thanks for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up. Share it to all your friends who are thinking about selling their house. And share with them the top three things that sellers do to shoot themselves in the foot when selling their house to ensure they don't make those.